and welcome the honorable Musalia Mudavadi. Karibu sana mheshimiwa. The man who brought the earthquake. But the rallies are over boss, eh? <laughs> Right. Uh, Your Excellency, the President-elect, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, my political colleagues who are here uh, today, um, good men and women of Kenya Kwanzaa and those listening to us. First, we shall not tire in... Uh, extending our congratulations to you, uh, Mr. President-elect, for leading us to victory. Thank you so much and kudos to you. Equally, let me take this opportunity to welcome our brothers, uh, UDM, your entire team, and I want to assure you that we are so happy to associate with you. A good and courageous decision made yesterday or made today or made tomorrow shall remain and be recognized. So we want to acknowledge that you have made a very courageous decision to come and stand with us and join hands and strengthen us in Kenya Kwanzaa. Asante sana. Um, let me just quickly pick up from where our good lady left. She was not wrong, she was right. Uh, so I will only top up on what uh, she had actually expressed. Uh, because for the avoidance of doubt, and please, the good men and women of the fourth estate, uh, follow me very carefully on this one. Uh, because it is important that the record is uh, put or set straight uh, for the Kenyan people. The Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, as it stands now, is that UDA has 139 legislators, members of parliament, in the National Assembly. So the figures I'm giving first are for the National Assembly. ANC has seven. Ford Kenya has one, NAP Kenya has one, DP has one, and GDDP has one. That is a total of 170 legislators in the National Assembly. In addition to that, let it go on record again that we have 12 independent members of parliament, and 10 of them have already met the president-elect and his team and confirmed unequivocally that they shall be working with Kenya Kwanzaa. So that brings us to 180 members of the National Assembly working and teaming up as the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Please also note that there are four pending by-elections and you can do your own survey independent and you'll realize that it will not be long before the MPs elect in that area beef up the Kenya Kwanzaa numbers. Then they shall be the nominated members of parliament, 12 in total. Uh, and you will see when you do the mathematics that a very good number of those members of parliament shall one, DP has one, and UDM has two. That brings a total of 26 members in the Senate, who are Kenya Kwanzaa. Now, it is not my business to do the mathematics for the other fellows. I will leave that to you. 
Um, <laughs> yes, I am told that. Uh, so, uh, Your Excellency, Mr. President-elect, maybe my small remarks are just... Uh, it's very interesting that uh, uh, we are seeing people still living in a serious state of denial. A serious state of denial. I don't know whether they have been hypnotized because some are still in a trance and somebody needs to snap their fingers to get them out of that hypnosis. Because they keep on talking of issues that are literally not there. Secondly, I want to plead with members of the fourth estate. The reality now, and these words are missing in your write-ups, the Kenya Gazette has come out and it has specifically stated that the president-elect is William Ruto. Very few media houses are acknowledging that there's a gazette notice and they're still hesitating to use the word president-elect William Ruto. Equally, we are seeing a lot of hesitation in acknowledging the reality. Why don't we say the outgoing president, Uhuru Kenyatta? Because he's outgoing. As, and, uh, the only one he's not vacating is the chairman of Azimia. Yeah. That is what he has said. But the truth is there's a president elect. And the truth is there's an outgoing president. So who is making it difficult for these words? How come the ink is disappearing? When this terminology is supposed to be used. I think we owe it to Kenyans to start also bringing them up to speed that the situation has changed and they should start internalizing the change and it would be so kind to the media if they can help us in start also getting Kenyans out of this hypnosis. Let them understand that we are moving forward. For those who are going or who say they want to go to court that is their constitutional right. But let us also remember that sometimes we should also be realistic because sometimes you may end up groping in the dark. And as somebody told me, or somebody said, sometimes you are groping in the dark looking for a black cat. Groping in the dark looking for a black cat. I don't know whether you will find it. So, as Kenyans, let us snap out of the hypnosis. Let us move forward. The president-elect is Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And the outgoing president is His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta. That is the reality. So before I invite the president-elect, let me call upon the leader of the UDM party, uh, Ndugu Roba, come forward, make your remarks, and then I'll do my final rites on the next stage. Thank you.